actually something with this, but uh, decided it would probably be best spontaneous. Other than, Jock, I, I was wondering, are you are you any relation to Innes McKean? Innes McKean, not that I know of. Who is Innes McKean? Well, Innes is a, a patient of mine who actually came in just before I came up here uh, for his physical exam. He's about 63. And I was uh, there giving, you know, getting the medical history and then going into his family history and, and sort of asked him, you know, oh gee, Innes, you know, when, when did your father die? <coughs> Innes looked at me and said, did I say my father died? Well, I'm sorry, tell me, tell me about your father. Said, well, he's 85, he's doing quite well, he's still farming every single day and just having a great time. I said, well, fine then, well, what about, what about your grandfather? Uh, when did he die? He looked at me and he said, did I say my grandfather died? He said, well, well sorry, well, then tell me about him. Then. Well, he's, he's about 103 now and actually he's going to get married next week. <laughs> Gee, that's pretty strange. I mean, what does a man 103 want to do getting married? He looked at me and said, did I say he wanted to? <laughs> <laughs> so, one's, one's preconceptions about what goes on are, are often not what seems to be reality. I somehow had a preconception for most of my life that I really didn't have any friends that uh, I was pretty much alone in the world and lonely in the world. And have grown to realize that actually I have a, a whole group of, of friends. And probably my very best friend is who I'd like to introduce to you today. Uh, someone who actually several of you have met, uh, and certainly most of you have, have seen in one way or other. Uh, and it's Wayne's willfulness. And lots of times, Wayne's willfulness has not been particularly easy to live with, but yet I have been thinking over lots of times in my life and realized that there are many times when I've been at the lowest and been the most down that it's actually been Wayne's willfulness that has actually really has gotten me through. Um, thinking in particular about running a, against the best looking, best liked person in my school and for the president of the student body and actually through Wayne's willfulness becoming elected instead of the one who was the popular one. Thinking of times in college when I was fairly much shunned by my roommates and unmercifully teased and Wayne's willfulness really saw me through that time. Uh, even times when in fact uh, I would get into my loneliness and aloneness and the sense of the, the blackness and futility of the world and Wayne's willfulness got me through. So I actually wanted to reveal to you sort of in his fullness, Wayne's willfulness. He doesn't have much to say, he basically has I will and I will not. And not much feeling there either. But I found him just to be a very, very important part of me, and I'd like to show him to you. Sorry. You. 
Yes, I'll bet it's will. just because you can't, not because you won't. I will not. And I'm the other calling side. your mother. Don't do it. I will. Don't you dare do that. No. I You'll will. You'll be sorry. You're going to get in trouble. Can't do that, Wayne. Why? Don't do oh, that, Wayne. Watch out. It's not a good idea, you. Wayne. You better stop it now. You're going to get hurt. It. I will. Somebody will see you. That's not the get right caught. No, don't do that, you Wayne. You shouldn't do You're it, Wayne. You're going to have to stop it. Mm -hmm. You're not good enough, Wayne. I'll do it. will. You'll fail. Give up. You're not going to make it, Wayne. Give up. You're not going to make it, Wayne. It's not necessary to do that, I will. It's a cold heart. Be sorry. I will. You'll get punished. Who do you think you are, young man? We'll call your parents. I will.